hi everyone this is imam today we are going to see uh, in blender how can we make a surface um, so what I mean by surface of course in blender you have a um, built-in tool to create a surface object as you can see in the add uh, menu under the add menu you have different types of surfaces sometimes uh, but sometimes you want to create your own surface out of elementary objects like line or curves which is a uh, it gives you more freedom how you want to create a surface and yeah maybe you're gonna you're trying to fill a hole in a, in an in an ex existing object or you're just trying to create it so surface would allow you a different dimension of um uh it allows you more freedom i think the technique of surface modeling is more useful so it uh, allows you to do really complex geometry really easily so what i mean by that so in this video we're gonna see two different examples for surface creating surface in blender really easily and it gives you so much freedom so first we're gonna see how to create a surface um, using um, edges or lines which are essentially not curved um, so what i mean by so we are not going to use any curve tool we just uh, suppose we have a plane so in our uh, workspace um, <clears throat> when we start a new file a document blender 2.8 you see this let's delete this uh, cube by pressing x on the keyboard and click on the delete delete from the workspace now we're gonna go add mesh and we're gonna create a plane so this plane is essentially without any thickness it's a very thin uh, it's just like a paper it doesn't have a thickness or depth it's just a plane like the name says it made out of uh, four vertices at four different corners as you can see if i go into the edit mode by pressing tab i can select each of these individual vertices uh, by clicking right on them now if i go to the edge select mode and uh, i want to rotate this edge so that it's rotating on the x uh, or this axis the red reddish axis so you can see how it's rotating so um, i'm constraining the constraining the rotation along the x axis by pressing x and just moving the mouse allows me to define the rotation angle let's say i want to rotate that much and left click to finish and now you can see how my surface uh, how my plane looks like it's kind of broken because that's because even though blender is rendering the whole thing as one plane internally is actually two planes you can see the folding there by holding middle mouse button and moving the mouse i can rotate the view and see if from this angle is actually two planes uh, because for each plane there are three vertices one two three and sharing vertex one two three so but what we wanted actually a blend from this edge the one rotated edge to this edge so it's actually a surface not uh, like a plane to a plane so this uh, this happened because blender doesn't know how to do the blending because there's no enough information or uh, enough data points to actually create small so if we make it subdivide this thing subdivide this thing will achieve uh, the perfect blending so if i select the whole thing or if i i there's two way to do subdivide the whole thing or uh, we can add edge loops uh, in both sides to it i think going by the edge loops uh, would give you would give you a better idea so if i add loops more loops more create more edges control r to do the edge loop on this and scroll to 
select the number of loops so i see the this is sufficient left click to and then again right click to create the loops in the origin origin position now you can see is actually now becoming a surface uh, from this side uh, if i look from this corner you can see it became a surface but is not yet but if you want if this kind of result is sufficient for you you can go ahead and then keep it as it is but if you look from this side you can see um, uh, i can show you the surface is uh, the face is twisted because there's no not enough uh, information like for particularly if i select this face you can see this face is actually twisted uh, it's not blending sufficiently so it's just made out of it's not blending as we expect it's just a step change there is no smooth blending just because there's no edges so we want to add more edges along this axis x axis control r and we select move the mouse along that axis and let's say we want to have scroll to select the number of edges and left click and let right click to finish on that now you can see this is now having this particular thing is having a smooth blending as well as this particular face stripes having a smooth blending is not a step change is blending nicely so that's how if we exit now object edit mode that's how we can create a surface which is um, blending smoothly so if this kind of accuracy is sufficient for you you can add more loops you want more smoothness but i recommend to not create many and just go to the object and shade smooth would achieve what you want so now we achieved a ruled is called ruled surface so we create a surface which is ruled along um <clears throat> two edges so uh, we just twisted this particular edge is like we have a cloth a piece of paper which is one on one on one edge is is fixed and the other edge we just uh, twisted so that's kind of shape we get if it's a paper so this is one way to achieve but if you want more complex and more control control over the rule surface let's try to create another rule surface let's hide this our first one and let's give it a name first say simple rule surface and let's hide this object by clicking on the i button now we're gonna create another let's save our document first and let's say surface Oh, if we go to the top view but i think it's okay we don't go top view and add object now we're gonna use the curve to visual curve and now we have one curve here which is lying on the xy plane uh, now we go to the top view by pressing seven now we did uh, now we edit the curve by pressing tab and then this uh, particular curve has two vertices and uh, we can move this vertices uh, along the say y axis by pressing y and then g and y to move it around the y now we do the same for this one g and y to move it along the y now i wanna okay let's r to rotate this vertex uh, let's uh, rotate i think it's fine let's keep it as it is and rotate let's scale this one uh, s to scale and move the mouse to scale it a little bit and yeah i think rotate this a little bit more like that now we rotate our view let's move this vertex along the z axis so we're making it higher go higher like that now it's a 3d curve as you can see oh let's 
uh, exit now let's duplicate this curve uh, shift D to duplicate and then we move it along y uh, press y d y to move it along y and then we move it around here now we go into the edit mode to edit this one as well uh, let's rotate this uh, like that uh, and then rotate this like that let's uh, scale this right click to select and scale this and scale this uh, down a little bit now we have two different um, let's create one more and uh, shift D to duplicate from this and move around left click to drop it around here and then go into the edit mode we move this um, around there and let's go to the snap uh, and, and snapping and select vertex snapping and then enable the snapping we just enable it by clicking now if we move it this vertex g and then it will be snapped to this vertex that's what we want and then let's rotate this like that by r by pressing r and and let's move this uh, vertex and snap it here left click to finish um, locking and then let's rotate this like that rotate this like that now as you can see let's scale this down a little bit now exit the uh, editing now we have this uh, but what I want here, let's uh, turn down, turn off the snapping and let's move this along Z by pressing G and Z and then bring it down a little bit. Let's go to the edit mode for this by right clicking or selecting and then edit, tap to edit. And we enable the snapping, we snap it with this other curves vertex. And <clears throat> tab to exit now we have a kind of this uh, boundary curves trying to define the boundary curves uh, using the, the curves let's uh, select this one by right click and then duplicate by shift D and then bring it down here and we still have a snapping on go to the edit mode select this vertex and then snap into there and also select this one and we snap with this one now we i think uh, this is uh, about it let's uh, scale this down a little bit and rotate like that now we have four visual curves according to our so this is a 3d curve is saving uh, dimension in all three axes um, but they are just 3d curves but we want to make a ruled surface or uh, surface out of these curves First, we have to join these four curves uh, by selecting all of the four by holding shift and right click on each of these and then control Z, pressing control Z will join four of them. Now we want to convert, this is still a curve object, but before that we want to convert this into mesh object. Go to the object menu and then uh, convert it to mesh curve mesh from now this is a mesh object if we go to the edit mode if you select the vertex selection you can see uh, the curve is each of these curves converted to mesh now made out of vertex not um, now we select all the vertex by pressing A and then we go to the vertex menu and march vertices because we have double vertices in each corners. We want to remove the double vertices, march by distance. Uh, so four vertices are removed from each of these corners. Now we have this um, 3D kind of boundary uh, edges. Now we can create a face out of this um, house rule surface by using the grid fill option 
so as you can see the grid field creates uh, the faces for us uh, by connecting all the vertices we have it creates the 3d ruled surface and here you can find more options uh, span gives some more control but normally it selects the optimum value for us so you don't need and you can also fiddle around with this but doesn't create a perfect blending if you want simplified version but actual blending is maintained when you don't have this ticked on now we can go into exit and see how our, our rolled surface it doesn't look uh, very much rolled that's because we didn't have enough uh, data points but we can go to the object and smooth shading to make it smoother and this how it's um, looking now so this is a 3d surface uh, made out of visual curves so we can call it now complex uh, ruled surface but if we want to make it a more nice we can add more loops by control r and it would be more nicer and control r to add more loops i think yeah now it's uh, i think better as you can see it's um, if we go to the flat shading mode it looks a little bit nicer and you can see a little bit something happening there because uh, we didn't have the perfect shape uh, let's select everything and go to the face beautify faces to uh, remove any sharp corner to make sure there is no sharp corner and that's it but here of course um, but if you go here and face maps normals you can also always use auto smooth option and by setting the angle i think it doesn't doesn't work okay this for the normal sorry not that i was looking for another option and it's in the object i suppose anyway i think that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much see you next time please download the file from the description and also please subscribe and share this video thank you very much